Welcome back to the Toilet Talk with Terry21. Our next question is, what is the weirdest thing you have ever seen in somebody else's house? I'm telling you, there's a lot of those. A lot. When I was younger, like what, 15 or 16 or so, I had this friend who was a girl. I went to her house one time. I was using her bathroom, going number two, I know, TMI, but you get the picture. Um, they had run out of toilet paper, or I had run out of toilet paper. So I looked on in the cabinet under the sink to find some more toilet paper. See if there was any there. All I saw was a grocery bag full of a bunch of used tampons. <laughs> Seriously, used tampons. And they stunk. I don't do well with babysitting. I don't. When I was about 15, I babysat for this family who had a bunch of hustler, trap house, and porn magazines on the back of their toilet. And the kids were just like, oh, those are dad's magazines. Like it was no big thing. Seriously. <laughs> that's terrible. Oh, you think that's bad? You ain't heard nothing yet. Listen up at this. Listen to this. I once went to this home of an elderly shut-in. Creepiest house I'd ever seen. It looked fine on the outside, but on the inside, creepy. C-R-E-E-P-Y. Creepy. Why was it creepy? Oh, <laughs> well, cobwebs everywhere. I could, I could barely even breathe in the house. I mean, there were porcelain dolls everywhere, ventriloquist dolls. There was even a Buddha doll in this house. It's just, just creepy. I can barely breathe because of the automatic Febreze sprayers. And the house was right by a shooting range, so we could barely even carry a conversation because of the gunshots. Everything was not only covered in cobwebs, it was covered in mold. Mold upon mold upon mold, wrapped in mold with a side of mold. All wrapped up in mold, on top of mold, on top of more mold. Even the automatic Febreze sprayers had mold on them. Mm-hmm. This next story, though, I'm about to tell y'all. Oh, beyond weird. Y'all are gonna get a real kick out of this story. Listen up. Y'all gotta hear this. I was at a friend's house. I had to use the bathroom, but I couldn't use the bathroom on the downstairs floor because my friend's dad had fallen asleep on the toilet. Literally, had fallen asleep on the toilet. <laughs> so I go to use the upstairs bathroom and just as I think I'm about to have the longest piss of my life. I kid y'all not. The second I open that bathroom door, you will never guess what I saw in the toilet. I see a cat. There is a cat, a big, fat, hairy, ugly cat, sitting on the toilet, and I can hear it going poop. The cat is pooping. He's not in his litter box. He's in the toilet. The toilet. A cat. Literally. Okay, look at the picture. I'm like, uh, hey buddy, uh, do you not have a litter box or something you can go to? Because I really need to pee. And all I get in return is... <laughs> Whoa, okay, calm down, man. You can finish if you need to. Jeez. Oh, Any normal human being would have given up at that point. After the cat hissed at him. But let me tell you this, I'm not a normal person and there were no witnesses. Mm -mm -mm. No, no, no. Nobody's around. No one's watching. And I'm like, oh, okay, okay. That's how you're gonna do me, pussycat? Okay, all right. I see you there. Huh? Huh? Okay. I'm gonna give you what you want. I'm gonna give you what you want. Once this cat is done going, I think he's about to reach over to grab toilet paper and wipe, but he doesn't, thank God, because that would be creepy. Once he's done, he just sits there and does not move. I can tell that this cat is purposely testing my patience with sarcasm. It's that smart of a cat. 
more than the average IQ of a dog. I could tell. <laughs> so, he sits there, looks me straight in the eye, with evil eyes, and I'm like, don't give me that look, and he goes, Shh. And he starts purring and smiling. I could tell he's testing my patience with sarcasm. He's just sitting there on the toilet going, Mm. He's probably thinking to himself, I'm never getting off this toilet. Na 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 na. You're about to pee your pants. Na 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 na. <laughs> okay. All right, cat. Okay. That's how you're gonna do me, pussy cat? All right, all right. I'll show you who's boss. I pick him up and try to put him on the ground so that I can get on the toilet. B bad idea. And he scratches me like that. And then again, he looks at me and goes, Okay, that's how you're gonna do me, pussycat? Okay, all right, all right, I'm backing away now. I'm backing away. Ah! And then I hit the dresser. That's right behind me. I don't see it coming. I hit it so hard, it makes a loud noise. It makes a loud racket, and it wakes my friend's dad from his toilet. <laughs> I'm sure they probably couldn't afford a litter box, so they had to potty train their cat like a baby when it was little, or something. I, I don't know. I never asked. And I don't really care, to be perfectly frank, after that, but, I mean, maybe they could afford one if it was a buy one, get one free, but for litter boxes, I don't think so. Which leads me into our next topic. Join us on the next Toilet Talk with Terry 21 episode for the question, what would be the worst buy one, get one sale of all time? All right, don't forget to click subscribe for more content. What's to come next is going to be great. You don't wanna miss it. All right, take care. Good night, everybody.